Okay, tell us about your time at DMU. I mean, how do, how do you remember that experience of being a student here? Uh, so DMU was actually the only university that I applied for. Yeah. I applied for two different courses. I, I live in Leicester, and I knew that I didn't want to move away. So staying at home was a big thing for me. So um, I applied and got onto the, the business and marketing course, um, the undergraduate. Did that for four years, which included a, a one-year placement. Um, placements being something that I actually, that actually drew me to DMU. The different connections with the companies in Leicestershire that it has was a, a big buy-in for me with wanting to stay at home. Um, and from there, I, I went on to do a business management and sport degree, um, which saw me on another placement as part of the course. Um, ended up at Leicester Tigers Rugby Club. Um, so yeah, very fond memories of DMU for me. Good. So my question for you is, in 2018, you actually created a business. Um, so I wanted to ask you, how did you find that? So I, I, I've always had a passion for business and sport, something that I was al I've always been very fond of. Like, whatever sport it is, I've had an interest. So motorsport was something that I always really enjoyed, along with, with boxing and football. So uh, in 2018, I started my... It was a freelancing business, basically, doing um, photography for different, um, different sports areas. So uh, to begin with, it was mainly, mainly in boxing in some, some low-level pay-per-view um, areas. And I would actually, this is the first time I think I've held a microphone since I <laughs> went up into a ring. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, that was great fun. So doing some photo and content, uh, photo and video content for them. Um, ended up taking me into motorsport just through networking within the room. Um, and then, yeah, I, I ended up using some of the money that I'd got from, from my placement year to travel the world a bit, um, go to some Formula One races as a fan with my camera. Um, and it was there that I, I kind of developed the business idea for uh, what came next, which was um, a motorsport photography magazine I created called Motor Witness. Amazing. And in terms of setting up Motor Witness, I mean, and doing all of that, where did that kind of confidence come from to think, oh, if I set something up, people will look at it? So it was when I was actually going around um, just on my own with my camera to different Formula One races that I saw the sheer amount of other people exactly like me there who were all there with camera equipment thousands of pounds worth and they would be uploading pictures but not doing anything with them so they'd be going onto social media mm. they get a few likes here and there but it kind of didn't sit right with me that they're either going to go on social media for a little bit get a few likes and then just sit on a hard drive yeah so i knew that the audience would be there for for such a magazine to to actually do something with those images that would otherwise just sit there redundant so putting them into a magazine and giving photographers that, that first step in being published. Yeah. Um, that was a big thing for me because I knew it was something that I would have liked. Um, it's had to take a little bit of a backseat for now because life's been a bit busy over the last <laughs> 18 months, but um, it's definitely something I want to pick up a bit more in the new year. Yeah, definitely keep it going. Well, um, you mentioned earlier that you'd, uh, you took a placement. So um, I suppose you worked with Tigers, which led to an amazing job that we'll talk about later. So my question is, would you recommend to others to undertake an internship or placement? Honestly, I think I mentioned earlier that the, the placement opportunities at DMU is what actually draw, drawn me to the university. Um, I honestly can't recommend enough doing an internship or a placement because it's that industry experience that has led to me having the skill set that's enabled me to apply and get the jobs that I've wanted since leaving university. So both my employers have looked at the magazine that I created, seen, they've seen that you're proactive and seen that you've done a year in industry elsewhere Aston Martin Formula One team, they've seen that I've got a placement at Tigers and then got a job off the back of it. So they can see that you're committed. And academic experience is one thing, it's fantastic, but if you keep it on paper and don't apply it around the same time that you're learning it, you might not feel the benefits of it. Um, so I think it's important to, to get as much experience as you can. And you have uh, not just an amazing jacket, but that's attached to an amazing job. So just explain, explain what your job is. 
so I currently work in the commercial uh, partner services team at Aston Martin Formula One team, uh, which essentially means that I, I help to look after all the different team sponsors. So all the people you see here on, on the jacket, um, I help to, to look after the different marketing that they want to do associated with the team. Um, anything that they want to do all comes through me and I help to then coordinate um, the different appearances with drivers or any other kind of different um, things that they want to do with the team. Helping to, to run their race uh, hospitality programs at different, different circuits around the world. Um, yeah, it's been great fun. It's been a, it's been a busy three sounds, months. <laughs> sounds amazing. <laughs> So, as an organisation, uh, my question for you is, how entrepreneurial do you find your business to be? So, I think Formula One in general, it's, it's probably, probably the fastest paced sport in the world, which requires a lot of entrepreneurialism and innovation. So, from anything such as, such as the development of the car um, for next year to, to us in the commercial team, it takes that entrepreneurial mind to actually be, be forward thinking, moving, innovative, to be able to actually develop something that people, well, either, either a car that goes faster than the racetrack or something that people actually want to, to see and be a part of and that brings them closer to the team. So I think there's, there's an entrepreneurialism in, in all different areas of, of anywhere. So it was mentioned, mentioned earlier that um, it's not necessarily just Entrepreneurialism, entrepreneurialism in terms of like creating a business, but I think Ben mentioned earlier when we saw um, the film on the screen that it's it's entre entrepreneurialism in an aspect of just applying it in everywhere that you can. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. It's we love it when our alumni come back, and to hear of your journey and, and the work you do is just phenomenal. So thank you so much. Cool. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.